Dominic Cummings, the Prime Minister's Chief Downing Street Advisor, is to resign from Boris Johnson's team. Mr. Cummings is said to be furious that Lee Kane, the No. 10 Communications Director, was ousted after an internal power struggle. According to a Downing Street source, Mr. Cummings will quit by the start of next year. At this point the UK will no longer be required to pay into the EU budget or follow European rules in many areas. During 2016 Mr. Cummings was the mastermind behind the successful, Vote Leave Brexit campaign. However, Mr. Cummings hinted to could be out earlier by saying his position had not changed since my January blog which said he planned to make himself redundant by the end of 2020. But added to BBC Laura Kunzberg, tonight's rumours that somehow the Brexit negotiations are involved or invented and comical to anybody who knows what's happening in number 10. Confusion is now taking hold over whether Mr. Cummings will leave before Brexit is complete. Speaking about the departure of Mr. Kane a source said, he wants to get Brexit over the line, get over the hump of the pandemic and get one or two of his pet projects locked in. Once that is done, he won't hang around. There are claims Mr. Cummings could hot desk to see Brexit over the line. Officially Downing Street dismissed the reports as speculation. However, this morning Transport Secretary Grant Shapps admitted the spin doctor would be leaving adding he will be missed. It came after Boris Johnson had to talk Mr. Cummings out of resigning immediately on Wednesday night. The power struggle within No. 10 erupted after Mr. Johnson attempted to promote Mr. Kane to be his new chief of staff. However this was said to be opposed by other influential Downing Street figures, including his fiancée Carrie Simmons. As a result Mr. Kane, a former Daily Mirror journalist who worked for the Vote Leave campaign in 2016, resigned on Wednesday. A number of other allies of Mr. Cummings, including Chief Brexit negotiator Lord David Frost, are also reported to be on resignation watch. Should Lord Frost resign, just as EU trade negotiations are entering their final phase, it would be a bitter blow for the government. However this is widely seen as unlikely until the crunch talks with Brussels are complete. Mr. Johnson's Downing Street operation has been coming under increasing criticism from Conservative MPs, some of whom strongly disapprove of Mr. Cummings. One commented, if they have got rid of one of the Cray brothers they have got to get rid of Cummings as well. To use a well-known phrase, Boris should take back control and be the real Boris that so many of his genuine friends and supporters believe he can be.